Subscribe to all my socials, bitches. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, man. What is going on, everybody? Today, we are doing a video on the top 13. Yes, 13. I was going to do top 10, but I decided to just do 13. It's my favorite number anyways. The top 13 best forgotten video games you may or may not have heard of or played. Like and subscribe if you guys want to see. So the first game, right? So we're going from 13 to 1. 1 being the best, 13 being the not so best. Number 13. Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. This is an absolute classic. I mean, I remember playing this when I was a uh, young boy. I used to go to my friend's house uh, late at night, 3 a.m. We, I, I would stay over. We would be playing this uh, 1v1s. This game is absolutely freaking phenomenal. Um, I really hope they make a second part of it. Uh, it's really just like Injustice and, and, and Mortal Kombat just put into one. It, it's a... It's a I would, it's a really good game um it's a very very good game pretty forgotten and this is just a really good game and if you've never checked it out you absolutely should the next game number 12 batman the telltale series this game is very very good now this is sort of forgotten because telltale sort of went under they went sort of out of business i guess and this game is just not necessarily uh uh as talked about but i think this game is honestly pretty good I think it has very good choices, very good stories, very good character, uh, very good story, excuse me, very good character. Um, I think it's just a really solid game. I know they did make a season two. This is season one. Um, I got this for like Christmas, I think. Um, yeah, very good game. Um, I got this like a couple Christmases ago. I think I did a video on it when I was much, much younger, actually, which is quite funny. I, I don't think I have the video anymore. Um, number 11. We have, now this one, I know a lot of you guys don't know about this one. This is the Hulk video game. I'm going to cover this because I think it says where I got it. It doesn't really matter, but this is the Hulk video game. Um, this game is an absolute classic in my opinion as well. Um, you got to remember from my perspective, a lot of, this is my list. Um, so let me know how you guys sort of rank all these games if you have played them. This is sort of like... From, from my experience playing them, my sort of nostalgia or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm not necessarily saying these games are all incredible and, and, for, and are for everybody. But I definitely enjoy these games. And this Hulk game is pretty damn good. It is, uh, it's probably, when you really look at the, the list, it's probably the most forgotten game, to be quite honest with you. Very good game. Very good gameplay. Um, it's basically sort of based off the Hulk movie uh not 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 the one with um edward norton but there's one that came out before i'm not sure who the main actor's name is uh, i'm sure i'll edit it in the video here that came out and it's sort of based on that movie and it's really really good actually a little bit of a story i remember i couldn't beat this one mission uh, i forget excuse me wow i forget who the uh who the bad guy or the villain was that we were supposed to be it was a boss fight it was like electric something. It was like this electric villain. I'm, I'll put it up. Um, I'll put it in the video. But basically, I couldn't beat it. And, and my dad was over. And, and this was on GameCube. So I have this on the Xbox, original Xbox. But I also have it on GameCube. And I was like, Dad, can you can you beat this boss fight for me? And he couldn't even beat it. He was like, ah, oh, son of a gun. You know, I, I remember him saying that for some reason. Son of a gun. It was so funny. Um, very, very funny. Um the next game, so that would be number 10. So this would be number 10, excuse me. The Punisher. This game is absolutely phenomenal. I want to just mention these games were pretty hard to like put in order because all of these games to me are classics. So it's not like, it, it, just because something makes number 13 doesn't mean it's the worst game of the list. It just means it's the least best. Anyways, The Punisher. This game is a classic. Some of you guys may have heard of this game. Some of you guys may have not. I think this game is absolutely uh, phenomenal. Uh, it has very good gameplay. It sort of reminds me of Max Payne. I think it came out before Max Payne, which is funny. If you don't know what Max Payne is, it's a game made by Rockstar Games. Very good game in itself. Um, Max Payne's an awesome character. But yeah, The Punisher, awesome, awesome, awesome game. Um, just really, really good game. Really good story. Um, I've actually never beat the game, but of course I, I've watched countless hours of videos, but I've never actually fully beat it myself. 
but I do own it. So I could play that on the channel. The next game, this would be number nine. Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 2. So if the second one's on here, you could probably guess the first one will be on here. But which which order will it be? You got to have to keep watching. Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 2 is freaking phenomenal. I have it on DS as well, somewhere over here. I have it on my DS as well. This game is absolutely phenomenal in my opinion. I mean, it's not as good as the first, um, but it's pretty good. And it has a good story. It's sort of like Civil War. Um, it's sort of like if you've seen Captain America Civil War, if you've read the comics about it, it's sort of just like Team Iron Man versus Team Captain America. It's a, it's a very good story, very good game. The gameplay is not like the other games I've mentioned. You know, Batman is obviously the Batman Telltale game um, that I brought up earlier is um, it's more of a story game. It's sort of like The Walking Dead or The Wolf Among Us. Mortal Kombat's obviously a fighting game, or Mortal Kombat versus DC, I should say, is, is a fighting game. The Hulk and Punisher are more so action games. This is sort of like a almost RPG style superhero game. Um, and yeah, it's a very, very good game. Number eight. So number eight, this game is absolutely really forgotten. Honest, this might be the most forgotten game, actually. I know I said the Hulk. This game might be the most forgotten game. This game is what is it called nah marvel's nemesis nah yeah yeah um it's a fighting game it's pretty much a fighting game um it's a very good fighting game it's a very just well done just a really well done game um it just has a really really just really good roster of characters really good aesthetic it's just a good aesthetic you know what i'm saying just that aesthetic you know you know when you're out with like a with like a goth girl and and, and she's got that aesthetic going you know what, I mean? what the hell am i talking about but uh, I'm I'm trying to be professional, guys. Don't don't watch my other videos. You wouldn't think I'm professional, but but yeah, yeah. This game is just really good. A good fighting game. Um, good characters, good story. Well, I don't think it actually has a story. It's more of like a PvP sort of game. But anyways, it's a really good game. Um, great cast of characters: Spider Man, Venom, uh, Thing, De uh, Daredevil, um, Elektra. Like just just some really good characters. The next game. This would be what number seven um number seven iron man this game is another extremely forgotten game but i absolutely so this is for psp as you can see right i used to play the shit out of this game i mean when i was a little kid i used to freaking yo man i i just remember like i don't know i used to be like I used to be upset. Same with the Ultimate Alliance games, because because I have Ultimate Alliance two on DS. Okay, this game I had on the PSP, and I used to play the shit out of this fucking game. I mean, let me tell you, uh, th this this game, I would just be, I mean, I would be I would be a little kid, you know, and I would be at my mom's work, and I'd pull out the little PSP, and I would just be grinding on this game, and there's another game I will do a video on this game. It's a Ghostbusters game. But specifically for the PSP, the PSP was way ahead of way ahead of its time. We could do a video on that as well. That that console, that system was way ahead of its time. But so was this game. I think this game was really really fun, really good um, action mechanics. It's a very action like game. Just really good game overall. And yeah, Iron Man game. How have they not made one since? I have no fucking clue. Uh, it's kind of crazy when you really think about it because Iron Man is such a popular character, especially after the Avengers films played by robert downey jr you would think they would have made another iron man game and they have it so this next game this would be eight this would be number eight right um so yeah eight i think eight or seven seven i think this is seven all right sorry i lost count number seven batman lego batman this one isn't necessarily uh for guy and i would say but this one is just to me like almost feel like it's forgotten at how good it freaking is it, it's 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 not the most talked about game so it it, it belongs on this list i think because it's not the most talked about game but it's not the most forgotten game of all time or anything um obviously not it's not number one um well th this this list isn't based off of what's the least and most forgotten it's just based off what i think is the best so i i would rank this um number six right so this is ranked number six and probably the best. 
Lego Batman, what a freaking game. I mean, the nostalgia, when you hear the... the da, na, 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 based off of, obviously, Tim Burton Batman and, and that the musical score of that film, this is just a phenomenal game. Um, it's just, I mean, I can't, I can't speak much more about it. I mean, obviously I'm sure the gameplay is up right now. You're seeing just what a freaking game this is. What a story. What, what, it's just awesome. Just, this game is awesome. Play this game, please. The next game, X-Men Legends Rise of Apocalypse 2. Now I know they made a first one. I don't really, I don't have the first one. This is the one I played though. So I'm going from personal experience. This one's great. Very similar to Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I think this one actually, I think this game, excuse me, actually came out before that. Um, this this game to me is just great. It's got um, just really good gameplay, really good characters. It's overall just a really, really great game. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, the, the cutscenes are pretty cool. Like, it's just a cool, cool game to play. A game, uh, again, another game I played on the PSP. Super, super good nostalgia. I mean, th this shit is just, going through these is pretty cool because it does bring back those memories a little bit. So, yeah, definitely play this game. Definitely check this game out. PSP, here's the inside, by the way. I probably should have did that for all of them, but who cares? I'm not going to lie, I lost count. So, uh, I'm just going to say, the next game, Deadpool. Wow, this game, you can't get this game, I'm pretty sure. Like, um, w well, you can get it, but like, it's, it's, it'd be very hard to find this game. Um, unless you go to like one of those vintage game stores or you just get it online. I'm pretty sure it's, it's, a, it's a copyright thing. So you can't even play this on the Xbox One. You could only play it on the 360, which is obviously what I did. This game is phenomenal. Um, that's why it's so, you know, high up the list. It's it's at number four. So the next three are, you know, are freaking bangers, right? Like you might, you might have already seen it. This game is phenomenal. Um it's just great it's, just, it's a deadpool game what more shit do you want i mean it's it's the coolest fucking game it's got cursing it's got it's got tits it's got <laughs> it's got guns it's got everything you would want in a deadpool game comedy and, and he's breaking the fourth wall it, it's just such a good uh it's just such a good game and it's 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 it deserves to be on, as high as it is on this list in my opinion the next game this game right here captain america super soldier captain america super soldier this game what i love about this game it's it, it really reminds me of um the arkham games which obviously are not going to make this list because no one has forgotten the arkham games everybody knows and loves and remembers the arkham games this game sort of has this similar combat stealth mechanic this game just it, it it's just a cool game it looks cool it feels cool when you play it um it's just a really freaking cool game like i believe it was made by sega um this game is just fucking awesome like just play it play these games please that's why i'm making these lists these are the best games that are also forgotten so um yeah this game is just really really cool uh here's the back if you want to see it um i think that's red skull right there anyways cool game um number two okay so we're getting down to the last two these are my personal favorites this is my again this is my personal list if you guys want to make your own list out of the games i mentioned or just i mean put in the comments below what are some games that you deem or that you feel are forgotten or, or don't get as much recognition just let me know in the comments below of course don't forget to like and subscribe we're at 34 subscribers i believe at the time of this recording so i, I appreciate and love you all god bless everybody but i'm not doing an outro x-men origins wolverine this is tough putting this at number two is tough because it really just came down to like personal preference um because this game might honestly be better it might have the better story might have the better gameplay but it really just came down to my personal preference and i just prefer number one and i think you guys can guess what number one is um this game is phenomenal it's got gore it's got it's got violence it's got action it's got it's got a it's got just cool boss battles and and just it's just cool mechanics and cool it's just a cool game just cool a lot of these games are just cool and this is definitely a cool ass game um i know I, I know uh this is the wii cover that i'm that i showed but i actually do also have it on xbox 360 um i believe i have it digitally 
This game is absolutely phenomenal, though. Really good story. It is based off of the film um, X Men Origins Wolverine, um, but it's it's actually one of the very few good movie games. Um, so this game is absolutely phenomenal. If you've not played it or seen it, um, you know, just play it, check it out, and, and yeah, it's just such a cool game, man. It's uh, I don't even know what to really compare it to in terms of. Because, you know, the, the Captain America game was very similar to the Batman games, the Batman Arkham games. This is, I don't even know what I would compare this to. It's just very violent, very gory. It's just awesome. Play it. Number one. So this number one, this game is one of my all-time personal favorite games. This game means the absolute world to me. Um, this is a game that I used to play, again, on my PSP. I do own it on my 360, which is where I play it. I've not... Um, I've not finished it. Well, I've, I've finished it on the PSP, but I, I've tried to refinish it. I want to play it on the channel. But anyways, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance. Holy shit. This game is fucking phenomenal. This game is freaking awesome, bro. I mean, I mean, what more could I say? It's got it, it's it's got action. It's got uh, it, it, it's it's the RPG style or the top down FP. I don't I don't know what they call it. I, not RPG, right? Whatever. I don't fucking know. I don't I don't. I play real games like this. I don't play like door uh, dweeb games like Boulder's Gate and shit. <laughs> and they're all gonna come after me now. Marvel's Ultimate Alliance is a phenomenal game. It's got a really good story. It's got awesome cutscenes. I think the cutscenes are an underrated. Um, thing that we don't really talk about with some of these games the cutscenes are so cool like they're cinematic and it's just awesome a, a huge cast of characters some really really sick and diverse missions i mean there's a mission where you have to go through a circus i'll put the gameplay up here there's a mission where you have to go through a circus uh there's a mission where uh you have to go through, I believe it's uh, Dr. Doom's lair, is it, or is it X-Men's lair? I don't remember, but there's just multiple great missions throughout the game. Um, so many good characters. Spider-Man, Iron Man, uh, the Fantastic Four, um, uh, Daredevil, um, Doctor Strange. Just so many great characters top to bottom, right? So, uh, the X-Men, of course, like Iceman and Wolverine. Um, Wolverine's probably my personal favorite character to use in, in the game to be honest with you thor is obviously in it so many so many so many characters um and yeah that was my top 13 list um this being number one deservingly so this game means the world to me as as well as all these other 13 or 12 other games um these games all mean a lot to me you guys all mean a lot to me for watching if you guys made it this far please like and subscribe i know i keep saying it but i genuinely love making these videos and um this is sort of new for me i've never made a video like this before um i used to kind of make videos like this when i was uh, a bit younger but now obviously i know how to edit so there's going to be a lot of good editing in here hopefully uh so yeah like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed and let me know what your top 13 list of maybe just games in general what are your favorite games just let me know in the comments maybe, maybe games that maybe i've never heard of they don't even have to be superhero games this is just top 13 forgotten superhero games um but yeah let me know what you guys think like and subscribe you're all a bunch of fucking assholes you know why well, you don't have the guts to be what you want to be